men and their emotions, men and their emotions. The first topic is, is this true about calling a man who expresses his emotions feminine? Let me go ahead and play the clip. Having the role, gender role, as feelings as a woman, and I have the feelings as a man. But he's a little softer than I am. I'm a little practical to take with you because words matter. What you're calling having more masculine feelings, I can almost guarantee you're taking the negative stereotypes associated with men and not being able to process and express emotion. When you're talking about him having more woman-like, you're probably talking about him just being a dude that's a little more in tune so he can yeah, he feel a little bit him. more. You feel me? Like, and that's, that's a part of the problems. We start to gender feelings. And we know as a man, anytime you associated with anything womanly, feminine, or whatever, you that's a shot at your manhood. Right. Under the under the current system that we under, as far as how we view manhood, anything less than a hundred percent masculine is now an indictment on your manhood. Don't call that man's feelings feminine. He's a human. When 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 you're struggling with your feelings, you're still a woman, love. Right. Like you just a woman that's struggling to express it don't make you more manly. It don't make you more rough. It means that there are skills that you need to develop. Words matter, bro. Don't don't get caught in this battle of trying to be more woman or more man. All right, there we have it. Is this true about calling a man who expresses his emotions feminine? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna start with you first, Marcus. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I know it kind of caught you off guard a little bit. I have this to do this. And then it's like classroom, but go ahead. Okay, so um if our men who express their feelings. Uh, be honest too, Marcus. This is a safe space. A safe space? All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be expressive about how I feel about it. Okay, so uh honestly, I think that men need to temper their emotions, right? So we're all human, so we will all have emotions. I just think that as men, we have a responsibility to temper it because when we lose control, things can get extremely dangerous. Uh, it's like dr drinking and driving, right? A car is, 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 is it's okay to, as long as you're within those lanes. But when you get out the parameters, now you have a 7,000-pound missile pointed at people, right? So our anger can quickly turn into rage, and that rage can, can, can enact violence on people. Um, so we have to put guardrails up about how we express our emotions and, and, and temper them around the people we love. Plus, when you're in a position that people look up to you or are looking to you for support or looking to you to be a, a solid rock, it's a lot, a lot harder for them to, to maintain what you need to give them while you're being overly emotional and crying or doing those things. And that's not to say men can't have emotions. But I, I, I don't think we're awarded the ability to be as emotional as uh, as women or children. Okay. We'll go to you, Precious. What are your thoughts about it, ma'am? Is this true about calling a man who expresses his emotions feminine? Um, I, is there an echo for me? Everybody mute. Up. Um. I don't think that a man who expresses his feelings is feminine. Like the man in the video was saying, he's human. Um, there's nothing wrong with expressing your feelings as a man because you're going to have those feelings. I do believe that men do not get the pass to be out of control. Like women feel like they're entitled to be out of control because they're women. Um, and I think that's because, you know, men are are seen as the people who are keeping it together, the leader, the head of household. Most men um, won't even tell their significant others when something is array because they don't want them to worry. They don't want their emotions to get out of control. But I do believe that those men do need somewhere to be able to express their emotions too, because if you're keeping it together for the woman and the children, you know, where are you going to keep it together? So I don't think that it's feminine. I think that it's a part of who we are as people. And the women who call men feminine for expressing their emotions probably need to become a little bit more feminine themselves because <laughs> they, they have this rough exterior and they have this uh, mentality that men, I had, a, I had uh, someone back in the day say that she saw a man cry and she was laughing at him. And she was like, I just don't think that men should cry. Like, they just shouldn't cry. And I'm like, 
he's expressing emotion. And I don't think that, you know, I, I think there, there are times where a man cries and it just may happen to be in front of you. And so if you're saying that it's feminine for him to cry, it's, um, I, I, I ask the question, do you cry? Do tears fall down from your eyes? Because it's natural, but it's not natural for people to see men do that because they have been taught that no one should see you cry. So I, I wouldn't say that it's feminine. I, I believe it's very natural for a man to show his, his emotions. He just has to be strategic in how he does it, whereas women will do it anywhere with anyone and at a drop of a dime. All right, so we got to keep the Kleenex on deck. Go ahead, Trev. Like everything in life, there's a balance. There are certain emotions that are acceptable for a man to express, right? Love, you're allowed to express love. You should be able to. If a man does cry, there are situations where a man is supposed to cry. If you, if you have a family member who dies or something, I mean, I don't expect you to sit there and cry over every movie. You see the sad part coming through, but... There are it's acceptable for a man to cry. It doesn't make you it doesn't make you feminine. Right. Uh, passion. We should be able to express passion. Right. We should be passionate about things. Some of the greatest men who are accomplishing the most express passion. Um, now, there are some ex unacceptable mo emotions. Like if you're talking about anger, if you don't know how to control your anger, then to me, that would seem feminine to me because you, you're supposed to be able to manage your emotions. And anger is something that's just unacceptable because of the damage that you can inflict on everyone else around you by not being able to control your anger. You have to be more responsible than that. Men are not allowed to do that. Right. We are not uh, just like um, Marx was saying earlier. We're not afforded the same opportunity to express ourselves as much but it's up to us as men to be able to manage that right and what you normally see is men who have a masculine figure in their lives they're able to manage it more right the people who don't have fathers in a home a lot of times you see them being the most problematic children they lash out they become um you know the school assailants and everything else right the people who don't have a positive male figure in their life. So if a man actually has a good example of masculinity in his life, then he'll be able to exhibit that masculinity himself. So that's, I mean, in all honesty, it's a, it's a learned behavior. Okay. We'll go to Cherish. What are your thoughts about it, ma'am? Is this true about calling a man who expresses his emotion feminine? So I would start by saying when you choose not to express an emotion, period, that ends in dysfunction. And when it comes to masculine and feminine energies, we have to change our perspective of them. They aren't really tied to gender. Of course, there's a spectrum. So when you have a woman and you think of feminine energy, you think of receiving, you think of sitting back, you think of flow state. When you think of masculine energy, you think of problem solving, action, leaning forward, things of that nature, those are true. But whatever gender you are, you have to have a swirl of both. So is it feminine to express emotions? Yes, but that's not a negative thing. Just like for women, working, the act of working is masculine, period. It doesn't matter what, if you do lashes, modeling, going to work is masculine so expressing emotions is feminine we all have like a lot of masculine and feminine within us now i do think it's healthy to have the right channels to express those emotions um but i do think yes it is feminine but that's not a bad thing 